Super Bowl 2020 brought us a plethora of TV spots. There's too many to name. I think we could if we gave it a real shot. There's too many that I want to name. I don't want to name any. That's the difference between you and me. Oh, I see. I right. refuse okay. to name any of them, but I could very easily, <laughs> but I won't. But what, of course, we are going to do is break down the Marvel What If trailer, the first look of live action footage that we've seen. Yes. I mean, there's been some leaked on set stuff. There's been some still imagery. There's been some concept art. But this is the first look at the first three shows that there's are upcoming. There's been some similar footage. Oh we've seen God. a man throw a shield before, but not in this manner. Not in this manner. We've never seen the Falcon throw a shield. No. Let me tell you. No, maybe. I don't think. Maybe. Probably not. Yeah. Also, if people can leave a like on this video, that'd be great. It helps this video. It helps everybody involved. Mostly that'd be me. very Us. relevant. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Anyway, so we're going to go through these show by show. We're going to start with Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Move on to WandaVision and then a little bit of Loki at the end because there's more to that image than just kind of what's initially there. A little bit of Loki as a treat. Yeah, that's Just right. for the big fans. <laughs> you know it. The trailer starts with, we had this discussion off air, what farmhouse is Sam Wilson at? Is it Hawkeye's moves? farmhouse? Is it any other farmhouse on Earth? We yeah, don't know. good question. Well, it's not Hawkeye's. I looked into this. It's not Tony Stark's farmhouse. It's also not Sam Wilson's regular house, which we saw in Captain mm. America Civil War. Okay. This is a new house. This is option B. A yeah. different house. A different house, that's it. Not everything has to tie together. Everything has to be tied together. If I miss this also, people will never stop That's a really good it. point. That is a really good point. I have no stake in this. <laughs> and we got also get wingsuits. Wingsuits are back. You thought they were gone? Did you think they were gone? I just have never thought about them at all, I'll yeah. be honest with you. They're in one of the Transformers movies and now they're in this. Imagine, imagine you're a soldier and they're like, you got to go fight the Falcon. Mm. He's a guy with like rocket powered wings that they've got guns and missiles and that. That like bird robot drone situation. He might have a shield also. Yeah, now. and he might have a shield. He might be a super soldier now. He's got that thing where the wings turn around and they're bulletproof. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to give you a like a we're going to put you in a big vacuum bag and throw you out of a plane <laughs> with a couple of head guns. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I don't know whether actually these scenes are connected because you see a person holding two guns. Nice. And you see the face. It can't really make out who it is. Uh -huh. And then it cuts to the Falcon in a canyon. Yeah, right. So it might not be connected. Maybe that person is killing the other three wings. I mean, people. that's true. That it could be it. It could be, could be Daniel Bruhl. Could be Daniel Bruhl. I mean, it could be a flashback to maybe the pre Falcon oh, yeah. training program. Like maybe before he got the suit yeah. and the and the wings. They were like, "We're going to put you in a vacuum bag and throw you out of a plane." And before that. Just trampolining. That's right, exactly. Yeah. It's also interesting to note, I guess, that he's not in any kind of Captain America suit when we see him in this. That's true, yeah. So it looks like they very quickly take that shield off him and don't allow him to become <laughs> Who's Captain they? America. Well, the government, Mason. Like because the, their version of Captain America... The vacuum bag guys. The vacuum bag guys. No, their version of Captain America is US agent. That's right. Played by Wyatt... Russell. Russell, that's right. Uh, who people might know from... Uh, Overlord, but he's also Kurt Russell's son and various mm -hmm. other things. Yeah. So he's like the government approved Captain yeah, America. They, they're yeah, they're like, well, Captain America's gone. We're going to build our own one. Mm. And he's going to have a slightly different suit, but it's going to be pretty familiar. And he's going to get high fived by people on football fields. Exactly. So. And there was a lot of that at the Super Bowl, wasn't there? Probably. Uh, probably. Yeah, probably. We just watched the numbers go up in an app. Yeah, so we, we didn't did. know. Yeah. Was it a good game or a terrible game? We don't know. We didn't even have the teams up. We just had the numbers. That was That's all. Right. Yeah. We just love numbers. We love numbers. The TV show numbers also. Mm -hmm. There's also Baron Zemo was in this. There has actually been some imagery, live action, I believe, of Zemo in his purple mask before. Oh, my God. Purple leaks. mask with a little tiara on oh, it? My, I don't oh. think it had the little tiara. Anyway, I'll put it in if it's in there. Opportunity missed. Yeah. It seems like Baron Zemo's kind of modus operandum, if you will, yes. is just to harass people enough until they shoot him. Like, that's his sure. goal. Do you remember at the end of Civil War, he's yeah. like, I've done it. I've, I've harassed everybody enough. Now I'm going to... Yep. Shoot myself. Because mm -hmm. yeah, I just want to be dead. Sure. This guy's just, he's just running a mark, This guy's a wild, he's yeah. a wild card, this guy. Yeah. Do you think he, we're going to get much closer to the comic book version? Because it's Not really a, a, no, it's a name no. only in the It's other name movies, only, yeah. and he's kind of, you know, he's more or less a regular soldier who, yeah. who, who had a bad run of luck. Because his family died and his city fell out of the sky? Those two things, yeah. yeah cool. A real bad stuff. day. Uh, WandaVision. So this starts off with like a montage of them through various ages, and we'll get to what that may mean uh -huh. a very sitcoms it's this show seems yeah. to be based around mm -hmm. we've got the black and white show is kind of i love lucy-esque could mm -hmm. be like the honeymoon or something like that's that. right then bang zoom to the moon bang zoom to the moon yep. domestic violence domestic violence that's i right. say no <laughs> i also say no. i think it's a bit dated if i'm honest I with you i agree mm. uh brady bunch there's yeah. a 1970s-esque one and then it seems marsha 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 Bang, zoom to the moon. That's right. <laughs> no, I still say no. Still say no. Yeah. And then, of course, we've got your 80s and 90s kind of sitcom eras with your Roseanne's and your Full House, that kind of 
look mm. going on there. And then there's a moment where they're in where she looks like regular Scarlet Witch mm-hmm. and she's in the black and white world that the vision's in. That's right. And of course in one of those eras she's also wearing the classic Scarlet Witch. Yeah, a comic book costume, yeah. Co- yeah, it's even got it's just looks like a little ribbon that's the capes tied on. That's with. right, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Apparently they're really leaning into her proper comic book powers in this like dimensional changing. Right, because in the in the first couple of movies, it's she's just got sort of telekinesis and some yeah. vague mind powers, but there we're we're getting a power bump and she's going to be able to mm. just warp reality. So there's also a moment where we see there's two bassinets in front of them, mm. and the, we call them dummies in Australia, but let's say pacifiers. Sure, we've got a US audience, <laughs> yeah. Mason. Yeah, yeah. over there they the call the bloody government dummies. You know oh what I mean? Oh my goodness, you That's got them! Right. I got them. Yeah. I got them. <laughs> we call them that here as well. Oh, we call them dummies also. They're very bad. Our government it is, is so bad. They're one of the least <laughs> awful. Just awful. <laughs> We're not here to talk We're about that. We're not here to talk about the government. Mm. Yeah, so the Vision does have a family. Yes, modern day Vision. Modern we're day Vision about, yeah. does, but he has also, in some versions, had kids. In in the past, when he was married to uh, Wanda, they did uh, her. Which pa- they are married here, by the yes, way. Yes, her yeah. her powers created a couple of kind of children, which I think may have disappeared into the void at this point. That sounds about right. <laughs> Very sad. Or they're back. But they might be back. Who knows? We just don't know. Mm. Yeah, so I think with this dimension hopping stuff going on, I wouldn't be surprised if her brother yeah, comes yeah. back and we just see various. 1950s versions of other characters and all yeah, sorts of things right. going on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Captain America shows up and he's like, I'm just the same. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just a bit chilly though. Yeah, just, Where am I? They just slide him in on a block of ice. But I don't think it would be fun if they were like, I don't know, Hawkeye's the mailman or whatever. You For know sure, what I mean? yeah. Something uh-huh. like that. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, but mm-hmm. I, I don't know. Oh, who would be the Wilson-esque neighbour? Oh my you God. You just see the top Owen of his Wilson. Head. No, he's in Loki. We yeah. know that, don't we? That's well, true. But old Wilson also. Uh, yes. What do you think is going on here though? Is she trying to fix him with her mind? Because he's he lost the the gem in his head. He got to pull James, it out right of his James, head. James, I haven't seen the show yet, so I cannot give you a definitive <laughs> sure, answer for but that. But if you had to roll the dice, oh, uh, yeah, I think so. Maybe because I mean, you know, it starts out black and white. And how did what color was the vision when he died? Black and white. He was great. Like he, he, he was actually he decolored right, to gray yeah. when he died. So maybe she's like, I'm going to enter into his mind, and that's affected her mind. And she goes in there. Yeah, right. And then then it's a 1950s sitcom because it's black and white. Maybe that's that really, maybe that maybe that's it. It's a very good know. point. Yeah. And then she's like, I got to bring in some color and some electric guitars. Absolutely. And married with children. <laughs> and married with children. So do you don't think they're trapped in some kind of weird void? Do you think it's something that she's created? I, f- I feel that's that's probably the way they're going to go. I think so. Yeah. I mean, they still could be trapped in it. Yeah. But I feel like this is her doing. Look, and I think also you know. It would be nice to see that kind of psychological exploration, but what is a superhero th- thing without a supervillain? Yes. So maybe initially that's why she, go- she goes into his mind, but then ultimately there's a villain behind it. Maybe? Yeah, you know? absolutely. But mm. what villain? Roseanne. Oh, she the worst she. villain of them all. <laughs> Uh, so lastly, we've got uh, Loki. Just a tiny Just little a snippet. tiny little snippet. Tom yeah. Hiddleston is back. But it says so much. It says so. It says something. It says a couple. Are we things, reading into it? it too much? Sure. Sure. Yeah. But we can do that. Who's going to stop us? That's right. Mm. Looks like he's imprisoned. Yep. This is also a version of Loki that is different than the one that died. He's from a parallel reality where he got the Tesseract. Times, the Tesseract, s- yes. The Space Stone. And skipped out of town. That's right. But we do know that the story is also about him jumping through time and various realities right. potentially. So that points towards what he's wearing. Mm. Uh, he's wearing he's, he's wearing a prison jumpsuit and the logo is a little bit hard to make out, but it, it seems to say TVA, yes. which points to the, that he has been imprisoned by, uh, in the comic books, we have something called the Time Variance Authority, which is basically an organisation that exists in the space and time between space and time. It's yes. one of those. Their job is to look out for time, weird time manipulation, weird dimensional problems, and send out a team to stop that Absolutely, happening. Yeah. So, like those weird testicle monsters from Rick and Morty. Exactly. Or exactly. the Langoliers. Mm. Put in a clip of that, you oh son of a bitch. Oh, my God, don't make me. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so I guess he's he's messing with time, he's messing with dimensions, and so they're, they're, they're out to get him. But he, based on this clip, he's not having none of it, and he's going to burn the place to the ground. So that yeah. should be fun. Also, the comic book character with the most character from the TVA is uh, Professor Gamble, who is a very, very obvious Doctor Who ripoff. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> he, dr- he flies around in a TARDIS, he wears a bow tie and a top hat. Do they drink tea? They don't dance around it at all. No, yeah. not at all. So, do you think we're going to be getting Professor Gamble? Yeah, do, we, do you think, I hope so more than anything. Do you think then it could be the old Milson character as Professor Gamble? Oh, yeah. Because he's kind of a yeah. foppish Doctor didn't Who. It, didn't even occur to me. My money was on him being Rick Jones, yeah. who's a character who has bounced between various heroes and all sorts of adventures, despite not being yes uh, a superhero himself. I I think that might be a nice point of view character. Mm. Just some guy along for the ride who's like, wow. 
Things are wow out here. Things are wow out here. Do you think, though, we need point of view characters at this point? No, I don't think we do, really. That's true. I mean, Loki is enough. At this point, everybody's enough of a point of view character, I feel like. They may be immortal or whatever, but they're still like, what is that? They may be immortal or whatever. You're right. Mm. (laughs) Got some release dates for you here, though, Mason. Get ready for this. Oh, my goodness, I'm ready. Uh, So Falcon and Winter Soldier is expected to debut in Mm. late 2020 on Disney+. Plus. That's a long way away. But presumably the others are coming out earlier than that, right, James? Oh, Mason, you're so naive. That's why I like it. You've done it furthest (laughs) away to closest, right? That's exactly what I've done. Mm -hmm. WandaVision is going to be coming later at the end of 2020. James, please. Mm. James. (laughs) Come on, man. Give us something. Come on. You've saved the best for last. And by best, I mean closest to current time. Don't worry. You're breaking my heart here, James. Don't worry. This last one's a real humdinger, right? It's going to be coming out tomorrow, right? How do you feel about Loki in spring of 2021? Now that's further away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have done the you, other way. God, <laughs> gosh darn it, James. <laughs> so that's where we're That's where we're at. I wish I had a bloody time variance authority right now. What would you do? They'd, I'd be like, he's doing time stuff, that guy James. You could jump like, ahead and... No, they'd beat you up. Oh, yeah, no. That's right. <laughs> I'd trick him and then they'd beat you up. <laughs> so... I believe all of these are going to be six, though that they may change at any Six point. episodes. Yeah, six episodes, yeah. Okay, not yeah. in total, as mm. in like, not okay. two each. Yeah. Okay. So I think that that's kind of where That's a good solid amount of time yeah. for one of these miniseries, that's I think. That's it. That's also, like three movies each. It is. Mm-hmm. Uh, also bearing in mind that the What If series is also happening at the moment. Yeah. That's also not coming out this year. I'll just throw that in there. <laughs> oh, salt in the wounds. <laughs> salt in the wounds. But yeah, look, these look great. These are like movie quality as I kind of mm. expected them to be because, you know, The Mandalorian looks like a Star Wars movie. These just look like Marvel movies. They look, you know? Yeah, they look yeah. incredible, yeah. I do like we're getting some weirder stuff. WandaVision in particular points yeah. mm-hmm. to that of what we've seen of it so far. Yeah, I like the idea of a half sitcom, kind of half like we're trapped in a horrible hell reality. <laughs> That's like real life. That's right. There's an episode of Supernatural where they get stuck in a weird kind of TV reality world thing. How's that work out for them? It's, oh, they're fine. They get out there and then they burn some ghost bones or whatever they do in that show. I like that show. Oh, well, that sounds like it's uh, going to go well for Wander in the Vision. Absolutely, so good on them. Yeah. If we've missed anything from this, uh, we have. Of course we have. Mm-hmm. Uh, please leave it below. Any thoughts on these? What are you looking forward to the most? I don't know. Which is your favourite uh, Scarlet Witch uh, hairstyle? Mm. Is it side ponytail? Of course it is. Is it? Yeah. Eh, okay. <laughs> What's your favourite Vision hairstyle? Is it bald and he's sort of purple and golden green? Is that it? <laughs> Is that your favourite? What era, though? It's not my What's your favourite favorite cardigan? Mm, Good question. Mm. Yeah, I like the fact that they made Paul Bettany wear all the makeup for this, though, because I know he hates doing that. Even though it's a weird 1950s world and he could just look like a regular person, nah, weird vision makeup. (laughs) Right. I think we also saw some imagery of him not in that stuff either, so... Ah, regular Paul Bettany. Wimbledon's own Paul Bettany. Incredible. Seen it? No. It's about Wimbledon. Nice. Kirsten Dunst. It doesn't matter. Okay, also, we have a podcast. Did you know that, Mason? You yeah, I called did. The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. We talk a little bit about this, but we also go into all the Super Bowl TV spots that have been, uh, that came out. We're talking F9. Black Widow. We're talking the one with, the, there's a James Bond one. James, the James Bond one. Top Gun, I guess. Top what Gun, a, yes. Yeah, well, all of those ones. They're Incredible. All, that's the links below if you do want to check it out. If you're watching this now, that episode is already out there in the world. You missed it. Yeah. Too late. <laughs> no, it is linked below. You are more than welcome. Mm. Unless you're racist. You can't come then. Sorry. All right. Yeah. All right. I'll see you guys later. Go grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye.